what's up guys this is void today I'm going to show you guys how to create 808 909 style subs and kicks um, using only Adobe Edition cool letter pro whatever you want to call it um, we're going to do these from we're going to create these from scratch quick uh, sound designing uh, tip or whatever you want to call it my opinion um, bass drums are um, tones that drop from high pitch to low pitch in a very short duration of time less than one second uh, or a longer like 808 big long kicks you know where they go boom you know that's a high to low pitch uh, uh, a tone um, very high to very low and we're going to simulate that using Adobe Edition all right so we got a new session here all right nothing in the session edit view multi-track view go to edit view and we're gonna file new all right we could use 44100 mono uh, okay, we're going to generate a tone, simple tone, like a test tone. Uh, use, a, uh, use a preset here, which is a, a 440 default. Leave this at sign, don't mess with nothing else, and duration should be one second. And once you get the hang of this, um, you can create different textures to your, your bass drum with these things we're creating by changing parameters here, changing the style of, changing the wave we're using. It's called flavor here, but changing the to square wave, triangle, sawtooth, and changing the frequency components uh, will give you all different textures. Okay, so let's just use a you know this default here. Okay, let's let's take a listen. What we have it's normal normal test tone, sine wave. All right, this is what we're gonna. This is a fundamental to creating our 808 and 909 bass drums. All right. So here is our test tone. What we're going to do next is we're going to go to effects and use a pitch bender to simulate the um, high to low in, uh, effect. So uh, we'll use a we'll use a, a, a preset here called turntable losing power. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with it. It's been in Cool Edit to Adobe Edition forever. Um, and what it basically does, it gives you a zero point and it gives you 48 semitones up and 48 negative semitones down. All right, and uh, if you want to know what that means, is look all the way up, it travels high, low to high, or all the way down to. All right, so we're going to use this to create our bass drum. A uh, good way to start is put this one all the way down because we're going to go from high to low and put this one all the way up, and you have this. All right, that sounds too spacey. All right, so we need to uh, narrow, uh, shorten the time, the beginning time, the, the high time. So don't go. We don't want that. We have to go. Doop. So we should basically just shorten this like that. So it goes high to low very, very quick. All right, let's see what that sounds like. That sounds nice. If you got some nice speakers and you listen to that, that sounds nice. All right, so let's. It's and right now. It's too doop for my taste. Um, the, the, there's too much prevalent uh, high pitches for so we're gonna drop this down that sounds nice if you got if you got some speakers that sounds nice right now and that's basically it that's how we start that's how we started off and then we're gonna shape the dynamics of this drum this kick drum and you want to create longer 808s you just lengthen the the, the, the slope the drop the drop time and you could, you, see, you don't want this build, you could, right there. See how I'm doing that? That sounds nice. Alright, so let's, 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 let's deal with that. So we pitch bend it, and now we have this. Now if I play this, look how long it takes for it to get to the very end of the file. It was one second, now it's five seconds. We don't need all this stuff here because it means too low we can't hear it. it's gonna fuck up our speakers let's just deal with this part in the beginning that part that's enough for us highlight it control T trims it or edit trim alright so now we have this piece here hear that rattling your speakers yeah alright so uh, let's shape the dynamics of this uh, you could do it with a compressor, you could fade it out however you want, uh, effect, amplitude, uh, fade out, you know, whatever. But uh, I like to do it manually so I could design the uh, the attack, the decay, the sustain, and the release of this. And how do we do that? Edit, 
insert into multi-track go to multi-track here's a little file let's uh, zoom in a bit there it is and uh, we're going to shape the dynamics of this kick drum using the envelope and uh, make sure it's enabled make sure you can edit it and here's our envelope up here our volume envelope and let's uh, create the quick fade out let's uh, mess with the attack uh, our decay our sustain and our release time something like that Let's see what that sounds like so that's a it's more of a longer uh, 808 it pretty it hangs a lot so we let's shorten it up a bit so do a nice quick it's still pretty long see how we could shorten it here I mean, we can make it long 808 style, or just quick 909 style. That's still pretty quick. Let's deal with that. So, uh, how do we render this this little effect here? We just select it, and um, it's not an effect, but we how do we render this envelope uh, to the file? We we select it, and you mix it down, and that gives you it mixes down the the envelope, and that's what we have. And you could further um, uh, processes using the amplitude um, dynamic processing and we got a bunch of little compressors here dump base compression trap attack base and you'll see how you know it uh, increases the attack here you see that this part right here it slopes down and uh, you don't need all this other crap down here delete this and we have our base drum <laughs> 